How's it going, AV Nation? Hope everybody's doing absolutely incredible. Today, we have a lot to talk about from uh, UFO sightings and the Pentagon releasing new UFO information and documents to scientists discovering a new four-legged whale. Yeah, a, a four-legged whale. I kid you not. Uh, today's about to get weird. Very weird. Uh, so to start off with the, the UFO and the Pentagon... After a great deal of speculation, the Department of Defense and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence have released a long-awaited report about their investigations into unidentified flying objects. The unclassified document called Preliminary Assessment, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, uh, examined 144 incidents that occurred between November 2004 and March 2021 in which pilots encountered something they couldn't explain. Uh, so these are all sightings from 2004 to 2021. So it's not like they're ancient, ancient sightings. These are more recent. Uh, in only one case was the report able to deduce an exact nature of what their pilots saw with high confidence. It was a large deflating balloon. Okay, so out of the 144, only one was be was was able to. Uh, you know, uh, be deduced with high confidence, as they said, and it was a large deflating balloon. That's great. So there's still 143 unaccounted for. Uh, it also concludes that further investigation of the other incidents would likely trace them back to some terrestrial cause, such as airborne debris, natural atmospheric phenomena like ice crystals or flight vehicles from the U.S. or other countries. But by their very nature, most of the reported cases are difficult to identify. Uh, I feel like they say that every time, you know, that there's UFO sightings that, oh, it could be uh, natural atmospheric phenomena like ice crystals. But I don't think ice crystals, you know, dart off into the night sky like uh, like some of these sightings have. Uh, today's report follows in the wake of knowledge about a $22 million program known as the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program set up in 2007 whose existence was made public in a front-page story in the New York Times in 2017. Though it contains no indication that any of its incidents could have been caused by things not of this earth, it will be seen as a major victory by those who have been pushing for increased government disclosure about strange lights in the sky. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, extremely important. Let me put a, a picture of one of the UFO sightings on the screen here. Um, now, not only has there been reports of just the UFO sightings, but the Pentagon released a report on UFO sightings that includes reports by people claiming the sightings left them with serious health problems such as radiation burns, nerve damage, and feelings of electric shock. Uh, it was a 1,500-page report obtained by the newspaper company The Sun four years after they requested the document. So they, they received it four years after. That is crazy. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of documents about it, and, and you can read more on, on the news sites. The next thing that we have here to talk about is, is something that's actually very, very crazy. So let me just show you the picture here. Um, so this is a dinosaur leg. <laughs> Uh, I believe this is the Thessalosaurus leg. And it was discovered in North Dakota at the Tannis fossil site. So the limb completed with skin is just one of the series of remarkable finds emerging from the Tannis fossil site in the uh, U.S. state of North Dakota. But it's not just their exquisite condition that's turning heads. It's what these ancient specimens are purported to represent. Uh, the claim is that the Tannis creatures were killed and entombed on the actual day a giant asteroid struck Earth. We're talking about the giant asteroid that struck Earth 66 million years ago that caused all the dinosaurs to go extinct. Well, not all of them, the non-avian ones. I, I believe some of them uh, ended up surviving. I don't know for how long, but... Um, but yeah, and, and so this is the kind of like the first real evidence that we're receiving about the the asteroid that, that wiped out the dinosaurs but not only that and, and the reason is because not only does it still have the full scales on it yeah this, this leg still has the scales on it 
Uh, but it was cl- it was taken clean off. There's no bite marks. There's no tearing. It was just I don't, I don't know. It was taken clean off. It's just it's pretty crazy. So that means it wasn't like attacked by anything. It got hit by a wave and it just ripped its limbs clean off. Uh, it says very few dinosaur remains have been found in the rocks that record even the final few thousand years before the impact. To have a specimen from the cataclysm itself would be extraordinary. Uh, now, they also dug up, we see a fossil of a turtle that was skewered by a wooden stake. Jesus, that is crazy. The remains of small mammals and the burrows they made skin from a horned triceratops. So we have triceratops skin as well. And the embryo of a flying pterosaur inside of its egg. And what appears to be a fragment from the asteroid impactor itself. Now, not only did they find that, they also found uh, little glass-like particles lodged in fossil fish gills. And these glass-like particles are presumed to be uh, molten rock that went up into the atmosphere, I believe, and rained down as glass from the actual impact of uh what's that asteroid's name like Ch- chilla chilla bucks or something like that chickalux or something uh the 66 million year uh old asteroid that hit the earth so that's just i don't know that's crazy we're finally finding evidence that the asteroid did really hit the earth and did actually take out the uh oh it's called the chicks chicksalub and the Chicxulub impact site, it looks like it's uh, it's actually pretty far away from North Dakota. Okay. Let me show you a picture here. Wow. So it looks like it could have caused a tsunami in that area. And that's what might have caused the uh, the limbs of the dinosaur to rip off. And then, again, it was entombed and was able to be preserved, it, all the scales and everything. Absolutely wild what our, our scientists are unearthing. So uh, there's a lot more. The sturgeon and paddlefish in this fossil, tangle are key. They have small particles stuck in their gills. These are spherules of molten rock kicked out from the impact that then fell back across the planet. The fish would have breathed in the particles as they entered the river. So those were the particles that they found. Very wild. Next up, we do have a uh, kind of a recent discovery. So scientists find evidence for the biggest earthquake in human history. So it says, until now, the largest earthquake ever recorded was the 1960 Valdivia earthquake, which hit southern Chile with a magnitude between 9.4 and 9.6, killing up to 6,000 people and sending tsunamis barreling across the Pacific Ocean. The rupture that caused the uh, Valdivia earthquake was enormous, extending as far as 500 miles in length. But as scientists detail in research published April 6 in the Journal of Science Advances, the newly discovered ancient megaquake was even bigger. So, it says here, uh, archaeologists have found evidence of the largest known earthquake in human history, a terrifying magnitude 9.5 megaquake that caused a 5,000 mile long tsunami and prompted human populations to abandon nearby coastlines for 1,000 years. That's wild. The earthquake struck about 3,800 years ago in what is now uh, northern Chile when a tectonic plate ruptured, lifted the region's coastline. The subsequent tsunami was so powerful it created waves as high as 66 feet and traveled all the way to New Zealand where it hurled car-sized boulders hundreds of miles inland, the researchers have found. What's What's the largest wave? a surfer has ever i believe it's like a hundred something largest wave ever surfed the official guinness world record for the longest oh is surfed is currently held by brazil's rodrigo 100 feet the never ending quest on october portuguese surfer antonio loreno claimed to have ridden the biggest wave ever at the infamous european beach break uh 101 feet and that's just apparently but guinness 
world record says the 80 foot wave is the record at the moment on November 8th, 2017. That is crazy. And that is in Brazil. Oh, wait, no, that's not in Brazil. Where is that? Praia de, uh, Praia do, do Norte Nazar. Jesus. That's crazy. Imagine trying to ride an 80 foot wave. I'm good. So, yeah, scientists just discovered the largest earthquake that has ever happened on planet Earth. All right. And then lastly, we have here. <laughs> let me just show you a picture of this real quick. Hold on. <laughs> like, what? So scientists discover a fossil of a four legged whale with a raptor like eating style. Absolutely insane. A whale with a legs. Never thought I'd see that in my lifetime. So it says, we regret to inform you that your nightmares are about to get worse. A team led by Egyptian scientists. Egyptian, excuse me, Egyptian scientists have dug up a 43 million year old fossil in the Sahara Desert in Egypt of a now extinct amphibious four legged whale. The authors of the study say that the creature had a unique features of the skull and that its mandible suggested a capacity for more efficient oral mechanical processing so it could eat better than most animals. <laughs> In other words, these walking whales had a strong raptorial feeding style. Yeah, so they tore stuff apart. They tore shit up. We discovered how fierce and deadly its powerful jaws are capable of tearing a wide range of prey. This whale was a god of death to uh, most of the animals that lived in this area. Abdullah Gohar, one of the scientists, told Insider. The new whale is called the Phyomycetus anubis which the scientists named uh, in part after Anubis, the canine-headed Egyptian god associated with the mummification and afterlife. It was likely a top predator at the time, similar to what a killer whale is today. Okay. Yeah, killer whales do some crazy things. They, they stun things with their tail so they can eat them. So it says whales, it turns out, used to be herbivores, deer-like terrestrial mammals, the scientists wrote. Over the span of about 10 million years, whales turn into carnivorous creatures in the ocean. The discovery of four-legged creature uh, of the four-legged creature is a part of that evolution. So a whale with legs and massive head with a vicious eating style. Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> um that's crazy. So we're discovering that whales actually used to be uh mammals just living on earth and they they ended up going to the ocean and probably not all of them but some of them this guy has a picture of it on his shirt that's funny uh but, but yeah that's yeah we're we're just discovering so many new things just so so many just when you thought it couldn't get worse we discover a four-legged whale with a raptor-like eating style absolutely insane See if there's anything else on this today. Yeah, and that was in the Sahara Desert. That's wild. But yeah, that's everything that we have for today. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below about all of this. Because this is, this is pretty wild. But uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Catch you guys in the next podcast. Peace out. If you enjoyed this video and this discussion, you will also enjoy the Anchor.fm podcast. Link is down in the video description below.